Hello guys. So a while ago, Missionology reached out and they wanted to send us um, some of their DIY kits. And here we're taking a look at the N35. Um, now we will put this together, um, take a look how we can put it together. Um, we will talk about some features and the pricing. Now this, the N35 um, is around $40. You can get a little bit of a discount, I think 25% with our discount code and because it's Black Friday, I think, um, they're running a discount on Amazon. Now they have another versions, the N33 and the N32. I think one of them is around $30. So not very transparent about the pricing, but um, yeah, take a look at the blog review. Uh, we talked about it in details there. I think the $30 and whatever less or discount you can get is a really good deal. Um, for 40 bucks, uh, you're better off with like something like the Seed Studio, the YO LB Pro um, or something else. So now let's take a look at what we get in the kit here. We get some hardware, uh, the 3D printed case, uh, battery and the uh, Heltec uh, as it comes from the factory. Now, uh, we can see here we have the board. This is a battery cable. We will not be using that two antennas now this one is pretty bad uh, i would never recommend anybody to use it you will get at least five to ten meters of range uh, but this one is actually not bad we run a test on this and yes it was not the greatest but it's something better than nothing it, it gives you around uh, 500 meters of range based on our test now we run our tests in not a very ideal condition so Keep that in mind if, if your conditions are ideal you have a line of sight you might get a little bit more range out of it so this is a nice addition um, again at 40 bucks there's a lot of other alternatives that comes with a really better um uh, antennas um okay cool what else we have the sma ipx connector and the pins and this is the time actually to discuss who is this kit for because you know you can see it comes with the pins and you have to put everything together this is a really good kit for you know people who are starting out in this mesh tastic and they want to get something that they can tinker with like this Heltec, we wrote a lot of blogs how to add sensors buttons and stuff like this and then once they're done and they decide okay i want to take it outside they can just put it together in a handheld uh, form factor so they don't have to go shop around for the screws and the batteries everything in in one kit this is really nice 40 bucks i don't know about that 30 and below really good price really good price okay so let's put it together here so here's the thing what do we need to do here uh, let's take a look at the case and uh, this is the case now they sent us um the early versions they had and honestly the tolerance and the fitting were um let's say pretty bad um didn't work um the second one which is this one um it fit together pretty good actually so let's start here um what i like to start with is the antenna uh, because I would hate to forget about the antenna and uh, plug in the battery. This would really, um, this could run the possibility of burning the LoRa uh, chip on the Heltec. So always, always uh, connect the antenna first and then you plug in the battery. So the antenna is really straightforward to install here. So you're gonna take this, I sorry, the SMA and slide it in. Now slide it in here and you will have to turn it. Sometimes it's not like this. So you will have to turn it just enough so it fits into the groove or let's say the cutout it made for it. So now if I turn it from the outside, it doesn't turn inside. Cool, now let's hold this in place and then we get the small nut and then we screw it in. You can screw it in or tighten it, let's say with um, pliers. Uh, but I really wouldn't recommend you to do that. This is at the end, this is plastic. And if you go too hard on it, it will eventually break. Cool. Next thing is we will connect it to the, uh, to the board. And you can see here next to the screen, if the focus work, okay, it's you're focusing. let's see. Yeah. You see, this is the IPX connector and then facing down you will just put it on it 
and then give it a little bit of a hard press. I know it's scary, but you will hear a click. Uh, sometimes it doesn't click, but you will hear a click and you can feel it now it's attached. Don't yank it, but if it's tight enough like this, then it's already in there. Now, next thing is, what we will do is we will add the buttons. Now the buttons doesn't go either way. You can see one of them is a little bit of a square and the other one is a circle. So we'll try to line these up. I think this is the square one, the bottom one. Okay, let's do that. Cool, add this in there. Let's open the hardware package here. Uh, now they have a guide on their website. It's basically an image with some steps, not very clear. But I figured out, okay, some of these pads I can put under the button so it will be easier to press uh, this small one. So let's put this in here. I, would, I will not glue it just because sometimes I, I you know, um, I disassemble the, the, um, the device to do some tests. So I will not glue it, but I like to put it there. I don't know if this is a correct or the wrong way. They don't mention this on their website. So that's a bummer but i'm gonna do that i would say it is correct it's just gonna support the usb port here and now we're gonna line up the usb port with the cutout for this for it in the case now this is lined up and if we press it you can see here now this the board is gonna sit flush with this corner and you can see if you give it a little bit of a wiggle it doesn't go anywhere so that's nice perfect okay now you can see here we have two of these screws, um, six of these, um, call it metal lenses, and one of this, um, what do you call it, foam soft thing. They do send you extra, so don't be confused. Um, but yeah, it would be nice if they have a paper or printout to put it with the package, but there was nothing, it just came like this. So let's do that, we will use this small screw to secure the board in place. So let's do that together. Now, this is screwing into plastic. So if you're gonna take it off often to try some stuff, be careful because it will wear out very fast. Now they, they, they tackle this issue here uh, with these metal inset, I'll show it to you guys in a while. Um, I know it's very hard to do it here, but you know, be careful. The, uh, I know a little bit about 3D printing and sometimes they do this um, metal insert where they heat it up and then they put it here. So now you're screwing into metal, but you know, these things are a little bit more expensive to manufacture and figure out and put it in here. So I think they're trying to keep the cost down. Um, so yeah, now everything in place, it's not going anywhere. The buttons are working, that's nice. Now very important let's put the antenna first before connecting the batteries otherwise we will run the risk of burning the lora chip in here now the antenna is in again you can use plier but i really don't recommend you to do that you will end up stripping the the threads on the um, on the connector now battery very simple there is a small groove in here uh, it's very hard to show on the camera and this groove have to be facing down another way to Make sure you put it the correct way is if you look at it like this, red on the right, uh, black on the left. Or let's put it this way. The red one is the positive. You can see it here. And the black one is the negative. Let's set it on the table. I can just put it like this and push it in with my fingernails. Put it in. Let's check the device. Hopefully it will come out soon. Okay, maybe I didn't push it, push it in enough. Yep, I can see it, now it's on. Now a lot of people get confused. Um, it's finishing loading and stuff like this and sometimes it say lower zero and you check on the Meshtastic app, there's nothing shows up there. Well, because this does not come with the Meshtastic flash. You see lower mode zero. This is not Meshtastic, this is some kind of firmware they just load on the on the Heltec. So you will have to go through the flasher and then flash the firmware on the on the board. This is not Meshtastic. It would be nice if they flashed it themselves, but yeah, they don't do that. Cool, next thing is we will put the battery in here. Now be very gentle, don't press it, don't bend it, don't deform it, don't poke it. 
this is a lithium battery and it's very dangerous it could actually start a fire so let's see what's the easiest way we can put it in without forcing it okay and you can see here i'm just gently pressing it in place perfect now it's in cool now you can open this uh, adhesive part and put it but I will not do that because I might disassemble it, but the idea of this is to keep the battery in place and um, not uh, to let the battery, you know, jump around and make a lot of noise when you're carrying this device. Now, let's close it up like this and do the clever part what they did. Normally, in most of the device we reviewed here, the screws just screw into the plastic. After a while, um, the plastic is just stripped, screws doesn't close, I don't know why they keep doing this. Um, uh, the Think Note, because it's injection molded, uh, they do that, so that's fine. But for the 3D printed devices out there, it's really not nice. I know the rack, uh, they have an idea where they put a knot at the end and then you tighten up the knot on some of the devices, not all of them. So this is also good. But now they come up with a really nice idea. So you put this metal insert in here and then you put in the screw and the screw catches this and threads into it, keeping the lid closed. Really cool idea, very cheap to make. I don't know why Seed Studio and other people are not doing it or other, let's say, manufacturers are not doing it. I really like the idea, but um, I have to warn you here, uh, be very gentle when you're closing it, don't forcing it. If you feel a little bit of a resistance, just stop. You don't want, again, to compress or deform the battery um, it's it's very dangerous now you can tighten it really good this will not um, let's say be stripped or so well it can be stripped but you know it, it's a little bit tougher than plastic also don't tighten it too much because you're pressing against plastic and this could break it it's again it's 3d printed it's, it's not injection molding and okay so we put it together looks nice it's working next step would be to flash it now it's really easy to flash it you just plug it into your pc you head up to flasher.meshtastic.org you choose the asp i think 32 Heltec, uh, very standard and then you'll flash it and it will run now should you buy it um at 40 dollars i don't think it's a good deal uh but if you get it anything with 30 and below this is definitely a good deal really solid device um solid 3d case um comes with a battery comes with the hardware everything functions as you can see the buttons are clicking um the antennas you know is is in there pretty good uh the range is not bad but you know you can put your stock antenna the form factor is nice they have a different form factor i think i think the n33 which is a little bit more flat so you can put it in your pocket or in the back pockets or something like this this is something more you can you know um, hold with your hand or you can put a lanyard on here really good okay so thank you for watching and um, yeah you can check out the the blog uh, down below in the uh, um, description uh, section uh, there is a, a coupon code uh, if you like to pick up this device you can get 25% uh, uh, off